Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at InDesign CC for 2015, but more importantly, Creative Sync, the ability now to have your assets synced and always up to date in your CC libraries. So let me show you how this workflow would work between Photoshop and InDesign. So here I am in InDesign CC. I have a uh, Creative Cloud library here called Adobe Demos. And I've got a stock image that I purchased from Adobe Stock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click on this and I'm going to say place linked. What that will then do is place this as a linked object to my CC libraries. Okay, great. Now I, I, send, the, I send the design over to my um, colleague or my art director or my client and they say, Eh, I, I'm not really happy with the way the rope's kind of hanging down here and can you do something more interesting with the birds? Okay, well that's a job for Photoshop, not InDesign. So let's head over to Photoshop and in Photoshop I've got the same library. So let's double click on it and now let's work with this file. First thing I want to do is switch over to my spot healing tool and my spot healing tool of course will allow me to easily shorten this rope a bit and make it maybe look a little bit better for my uh, client. Okay, so now the rope is not as distracting hanging down there and we could even take it up a little bit further and kind of just get rid of it hanging there altogether. Okay, great. Now that the rope's gone, I wanna make the birds a little bit more interesting by kind of maybe spreading them out and make a couple, making a couple of them even a little bit larger. So that's a tool for, or that's a job for the new enhanced content aware move tool. I'm gonna go ahead and just make my very careful painstaking selection around these two parts. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and as you know, the, the Content Aware Move tool is great for moving something in a photo from one place to another. But now when I let go, it's not done yet. It I have a, um, a checkbox that says Transform on Drop. But because that's enabled, I now can do a transformation before I say, go ahead and move it. So I wanna make these a little bit larger and I wanna rotate them a little bit so that they're not all kind of flying in the same direction there. Okay, so now when I click OK, it will do the transformation, it will do the content aware move, and it will take care of the birds. So I can go and play that game with each one of these. Let's make a better selection around that one. Let's move this one down, and we get our transform. We can go ahead and make that one a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller first, maybe further out in the distance. Click OK, and it will perform the move. Now that I'm done making these changes, I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. Uh, it's gonna ask me quality. I'm just gonna go ahead and bump the quality all the way up. And I'm now going to close it. So I've made my changes. I head back to InDesign and InDesign automatically updates because this was based on something that was placed as a linked object from my CC libraries. And once I make a change to an object in the library, everywhere that's been linked gets updated automatically. So that's the new linked assets or creative sync from CC libraries in your 2015 applications. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.